Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip. In today's video, we're gonna look at how to create a Microsoft or an Outlook account. Take a look. If you're new to this channel, we do a lot of how-tos, a lot of tutorials and videos just like this one, so be sure to hit the subscribe button right below the video. Just like with any video, we're gonna start with opening up any type of browser here. And like I said, this can work whether you're in Firefox, Google Chrome, uh, Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge. All we're gonna need to do is just open up the browser and navigate to uh, Microsoft where we can go in and create an Outlook account because Outlook, MSN, all of those, those are all owned by Microsoft. So we'll want to navigate over there. And so open up, I'm gonna use Chrome in this instance and then I'm gonna go to Outlook.com. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna forward us to the sign-in page where we can either sign in, do premium content, create an account, etc. We're gonna go ahead and want to click sign up. Since we are creating a new email today, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and click sign up. Then it will take us to the page where we can create an account. And then as you can see, if you are already signed into a Windows PC, tablet or phone, Xbox Live, Outlook.com, OneDrive, use that email address to sign in. Otherwise, create a new Outlook.com email address. So what they're basically saying is if you have one of those devices connected to Microsoft, chances are you already have a Microsoft account. But here we're gonna go ahead and create one. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and come up with some information and uh, go from there. So we'll fill in this. We'll do David. Now, if the email is taken, it will let you know that it is taken. Uh, in this case, David Jumbo Test at Outlook.com is available, so we'll, we, we can go ahead and use that. But like I said, if it is read, it will let you know that if it's taken, and then it will usually give you some suggestions as to what you can, you, you can use. If you don't want any of their suggestions that they give you, feel free to go through and just kind of uh, customize it enough to where it will actually be unique enough that it won't be used. So. Over here on the right, you can also click on the little arrow. This will allow you to choose Outlook.com or Hotmail.com. I'm gonna leave it on Outlook, and then I will go ahead and type in a password. And then you'll want to retype in the password. You want to go through, verify your country, birth date, uh, gender, you can go ahead and specify that if you want. Go ahead and put mail on that. Let's do, let's just do January 1st of 2017. Actually, let's do, we'll do 19, we'll do 2000, there we go. So as you can see, I've got first name, last name, I've got the username selected, I've got both passwords in there. As you can see, if the passwords do not match, it'll say they do not match, so just go, through, go back and make sure that you type them in the way that you want them so they do match. And as soon as they do match, you'll notice that the little message will disappear there. So I've got the birth date, country, region, uh, genders filled out, country code. If you have a phone number, you can put that on there. You do not have to. It is advised that you do just for a recovery option in case you do lose a password. They can usually send you a verification code. Same with alternate email address. If you have another email address that you have access to and you're just wanting to create another Outlook for any type of uh, a professional job or whether you want another email for you know, spam or newsletters, things like that to sign up for, you can go ahead and put in an alternate email address and that will allow them to send a code to that one in case you don't have the phone number set up. So I'm not gonna worry about setting those up since this is a test account. So you want to go in and fill in the CAPTCHA. That's just to ver verify that you are not a robot. If you're having a hard time seeing it, go ahead and click on new and they will give you a new one. Um, if you are also having a hard time seeing it and you want them to read it to you, you can go ahead and click audio and that will uh, read it through your speakers or your headset or whatever sound device that you have. So uh, moving forward, if you check this box, it says send me pro promotional offers from Microsoft and you can subscribe at any, at any time. I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that because I don't really care for any kind of promotional offers from Microsoft. Uh, once you've got all that information in there, go ahead and click on create an account. Um, and it does actually show that you do, are required to type in some kind of number in here or alternate email address or both actually. Your phone number helps keep us your account secure. We'll send a verification code as a text message if we need to verify your identity. So we'll need to put something in here. I'm just gonna put, see if that'll work. And then for this, I'm just gonna put none at none.com because like I said, this is a test email and I don't really care to get any information. So create account.
Once you've got that information there, once you've clicked on create account, it's going to forward you to the Outlook uh, outlook.live.com inbox where it will give you kind of some tutorials. You can go ahead and click through these. Um, you can go ahead and customize it, language, time zone. Uh, you want to go in and make sure your time, time, your time zone. Your time zone is all set up. Out in time. You can choose a little avatar, a little picture that you want. Let's choose a circuit board, just because. And then any kind of signature, business, custom, you can go ahead and add that in there. I'm not going to worry about a signature. And then you can go in and add an interesting calendar. It looks like you can add NBA, NHL, MLB, uh, local calendars. Of course, it is powered by Bing, so you'll be able to get any kind of uh, recent or local notifications in your inbox as well. So kind of cool little feature to have. Once you've done that, click on the final arrow. It'll say almost there, just getting a few things set up. Won't be long. And then it will load you to this page. Uh, it will say check your email, upload files, and sign into Skype office. So you may now use this email address if you haven't before to sign into your OneDrive, Xbox Live, uh, OneNote, uh, any type of office, Skype. You can do that as well. And then go ahead and click on Let's Go and that will actually take you to your inbox. And that's it. As always, thanks for watching that tech tip. Hope you learned how to create an Outlook email today. Any kind of questions or comments, leave that in the comment section below the video. Of course, while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. We will see you next time.